yeah, you know, one of the things I say that I think I get a little trouble with attorneys on, just my, my professional opinion as a real estate agent and as a businessman observing probate court in LA County specifically, is that if you have a bad living trust, that's better than no living trust about 90 to 95% of the time, that you need to get something. Once you get it and get it done and deed your property, then go to your attorney and get a real one uh, and get it done properly. But, but I, I literally this week had somebody call me where their sister, you know, they, they prepared a living trust, never executed, never did the properties. And now unfortunately the sister's in a coma. So none of the protections apply because they never signed the piece of paper and turned it in, never did the assets and put them in the trust. And I said, that's why, and, it, and she said, well, it was three months of, you know, meetings and phone calls and this and getting paperwork together. And I said, right, just get one done. And then from there you can always restate it or do a new one. There's nothing. Well, you know what? In. I had someone that was um, going on a cross country road trip. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to throw this out there because I don't want people calling me and expecting me to do trust in within a week's time or two weeks time. But, you know, she came referred by a good colleague and I just was like, I'll call her Sarah. I was like, you know what? We're going to get it done. If you're flexible and you know that we're going to have to like revisit this and readjust and amend and restate the trust documents, I will get you covered immediately because I don't want you to get on that road trip and not be protected. So let's do this. And we yeah. did it. Um, and today people are so nervous. This way you really give them a sense of comfort knowing it's been done. There's a security. Look, I tell people, you don't have to hire me, but you have to get this done. It's crazy not yes. to have a trust. I, agree. I mean, I, agree. I kid you not. It's, it's an important, you know, I, I kind of see it as like, okay, I'm buying a home. I need property insurance. You know, you got the, you have to have the basic stuff that you need to get. When you purchase a home or you have a business, estate planning should be like another thing that you just do. Health insurance, you know, debt, you know, property insurance, business insurance, estate planning. Like it has to go. And I'm not saying that you need to necessarily, some people think, oh, I don't have a home. I don't need it. That's not true. A single mom or a single parent with a minor child with no assets, no bank account, no real estate, no business actually needs a trust because they need to make sure they're protecting their child. And not only that, I am, I'm going to assume they have life insurance, or if they don't, at least they should get that. And they should put the beneficiary of the life insurance as the trust. And boom, you've just fully protected your child and your extended family from not having all these legal issues when, God forbid, something happens to you. Mm -hmm.